What is going on guys, my name is Atlantis and welcome back to Ice of Fire's The Bestiary. Now, for today's episode, we're going to be covering the Hippocampus. Now, if you're new to the series, welcome. Now, what this series is, is I am attempting to cover every single mob in the Ice of Fire mod in a separate video for each mob. Now, what the series is based off is this book called The Bestiary. Now, what this does is it explains everything about the mod in some detail. Could be better, but it explains everything about the mod and just gives you a basic rundown if you're new to the mob. Or mob, mod, if you're new to the mod. <laughs> Why are those words so similar? And for today, we're going to be covering the Hippocampi. Now, you can pause this to read it if you want. I'm not going to read it because I'm going to literally tell you everything that this tells you and more in detail. So let's get going, shall we? Now, as for the Hippocampus, they're quite unique in the sense that of all the mobs in the Eyes of Fire mod, they're the ones that will never do anything to harm you. Now, some might argue that the pixies don't hurt you and that amphitheers only do it if you hurt them first. However, they still hurt you. They still- pixies steal your stuff and the amphitheers will hurt you if you try and tame them. These will never cause you any harm whatsoever. The villagers don't count because they're villagers. These will never do anything to hurt you ever. They are the most peaceful thing in the world. They will do nothing to hurt you. They're essentially just horses with fish tails. They are- absolutely 100% docile. They'll never do anything to hurt you, even if you attack them. So, moving right along, some notable blocks. First off, are the scales. Now, this is the stuff they drop if you kill them, which I don't know why you would. They're not worth killing. They don't drop a lot, and honestly, they're better as a mount. So, these scales can be used in the crafting recipe for these armors. However, these armors are crafted after killing sea serpents, so they're only here because you need the scales to craft them. But these armors cannot be crafted with just the hippogriff stuff, hippogriff, hippocampus stuff. These are the things you'd have to kill. You'd have to kill sea serpents to get the other colored scales that you need, which we'll cover those in a separate video. So just, just a notable thing, you need the shiny scales to craft these armors, but you also need the colored scales that you would get from, from killing a sea serpent, which they're more difficult to kill. So moving right along, actually before we move right along, the shiny scales can also be used to craft water bring or water breathing potion or to brew it. So. If you got a brewing stand with some power in it and a water bottle, actually just take this water bottle, it will eventually brew a water breathing potion that lasts for three minutes. And all you need is a water bottle. You don't need nether wart. You don't need anything that a normal potion would take. You just need a water bottle and the scales. And eventually, come on, come on, you're right there. It will make a potion of water breathing. So there's that. They're helpful within that in that in that sense. So moving right along, this is there's not much else to talk about with them. How to tame them. Now, they can be tamed with a sponge. Now, this has to be a dry sponge. It can't be a wet sponge. If it's wet, it, it will not work. I tested it. It doesn't work with a wet sponge. It works with a dry sponge. Now, these two are already tamed, but this one is not. And they'll follow you around if you're holding something that they like. And then you just right-click on them. And when you see the hearts show up, that means they're tamed. And then if you shift right-click, you can access their inventory. Now, they'll take a saddle, normal armor that is not hippogriff armor. Horse, normal horse armor and a chest, and they're essentially just like horses that can carry a chest and have a fishtail. So next in our agenda, as for how after how to tame them, let's say you've got two and you want to breed them. Now they do, they can be bred. Now, what all it takes is prismarine crystals. Now as for getting these, that's up to you, but that all it takes is prismarine crystals. So all you have to do is right click on one, right click on the other one if they're tamed, and they will eventually make a baby. Come on. There! Look at the baby, it's so tiny! Now these guys are not tamed when they first spawn into the game. You have to tame them once again, and they should take about a day to grow up, but they're so cute and they're adorable. And then you'll have a hippo hippocampus. So let's see, I think that's about it. These guys really don't have much about them. In terms of... Now, a word of warning when it comes to these guys. They are a little bit buggy, I will say. Let's see, where's where's one that will do it, the glitch? Come on, one of you's gotta do it. Oh, come on! Now, now, of course they're not doing it now. Ah, there it is. There's that one. There we go. Their inventory will turn red sometimes. And yeah, it, it, it look, it's horrifying. It looks weird. You can still put stuff on them. Let's see. Let's, let me grab the, uh, the stuff. I'm pretty sure you can still put stuff on them. Ah, that's not the chest. You can still, you should still be able to put stuff on them. Yeah, you still can if it's the right stuff. Eh, get in there. Chest. Is that a trap chest? Yeah, that's a trap chest. Trap chest! Don't work. Let's see. Armor. Armor. And let's just need the normal armor. Let's just take that. And a chest. Chest, 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 chest. There we go. Armor and a chest. Now the thing is, you can still use them, but there's also another bug that I did notice in another hip hippocampus, that sometimes if they've got their armor and stuff on, you still can't right-click on them to 
get on them and it'll say they've got the it'll they'll have this texture they'll look like they've got the armor and the saddle and the chest and all that but you still can't get on them and actually like sit on them which is rather annoying to be honest and i don't know how to fix it <laughs> besides just putting another besides either killing the thing you could try relogging but i'm not quite sure how to fix it so there's that bit now another thing to know about these guys is they are incredibly sluggish on land like look at this guy he can barely move but in the water they are the fastest thing you will ever see like look at this liz he's so speedy like if you if you intend to live in the water or if you intend to like have an ocean base these are the best things to have and also they give you water breathing while you're on them so you can go underwater with these guys and not worry about anything as long as you're riding them you've got water breathing so that is a helpful thing to have as well we they also jump quite high when they're in the water let's see is there any other glitches that i know about is there anything else that i know about when it comes to these guys this is going to be the shortest video ever huh not really no let me think let me think is there anything else that i forgot to mention like i tested what they eat and they don't i don't think they eat anything else if they do i didn't if i if they do i didn't catch it um they're adorable is that <laughs> what else can i say this there's not much else to say. Oh, wait, 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 the stick, the stick, the stick. I completely missed the stick. I missed the stick entirely. So you see how I've got a lead? Oh, well, I had a lead on these. They're turned technically in their wandering position right now. Now, if you, if you right click on them while they're on land, they do this and it's so cute and adorable. They just lay down like that. Now, if you do it in the water, they will still stay in position but instead they'll be floating and they look like seahorses they'll stay they'll sink down to the lowest ground that there is but they look like sea they look like like normal seahorses like the curved tail and that's how you get them to stay put and then when you want them to move again you can either click them with a stick or you can just where's the saddle if i had a saddle it would be better you can either click them with a stick or you can just put a saddle on them and get going and let's see i'm pretty sure once you get off this guy he'll still be sitting nope no, he's not. He is not still sitting. So make sure you've got a stick with you, or a lead, or some sort of method to keep them from running off. And this should be perfect. I don't know where they'd run off to, to be honest. They're really slow. Like, in the water, I'd worry about it, but besides that... Yeah. Now, if you are working with these guys underwater, and you've got, like, an underwater base, it'd be really cool to make, like, an, just an underwater stables area where they could just perch off and just hang their tails off. It'd be so cool. They do still kind of move, though. So I'd worry about that, but besides that, there isn't much else for the, on these guys. These guys are very simple and they do have a few bugs but they're they're quite interesting they're very simple as well so anyway that is it for this video there's there's not much to talk about with, with these guys so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed and if you really if you enjoyed leave a like if you really enjoyed be sure to subscribe we're almost at 2000 subscribers that is insane thank you guys so much so yeah there's not much else let me know what you guys think if i missed anything which i probably did because there's no way there's there's all there's almost no way that there's this little to know about them but I did all the research I could, and this is all I could find. If there is more, let me know. If there isn't, then what do you freaking do? <laughs> anyway, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!